Unshakable hope. Just think about those two words for a moment. What do they mean to you? What does it look like to have unshakable hope? How can you have such hope when your life feels adrift in a stormy sea of fear and uncertainty, tragedy and grief? The writer of Hebrews says, we have this hope as an anchor for the soul, firm and secure. If you've ever been at sea, you know that boats have a mind of their own. When left on their own, they'll drift toward that big rock, into that busy channel, or out into deeper seas. But a boat at anchor is secure and safe from danger. It is protected from wandering because of the strength of the anchor that holds it in place. Now, we can't deny that there are a lot of storms out there, storms that affect your finances, your family, your faith, and your future. And at times, these storms can rock your boat so badly that you fear it will sink. And many people do give in to despair. But people who have anchored their lives in God have an advantage. When the storms come, they filter the situation through the unshakable hope that God provides in His Word. And they find the anchor that always holds. During the next 12 weeks, we will explore some of these promises from God. We will look at the hope God offers through them and how we can know they will come to pass. As we do, you will find that when you choose to be a person of the promise, you will view your life and your circumstances in a whole new way, and God will lead you to a whole new place. The heroes in the Bible come from all different walks of life. Some were rulers, some were servants, some were teachers, some were doctors. They were male, female, single, and married. And they weren't all exactly what you'd call a list of who's who in purity and sainthood. In fact, some of their antics would make you think they belong more in the Saturday night crowd in the county jail than in the Bible. But there was one common denominator that united them. In spite of their faults, they all built their lives on God's promises. Joshua chose to believe God's promise of a new homeland and led two million people into enemy territory. Elijah and Daniel chose to believe God's promise that he would stand with them and they saw fire fall from sky and kings fall from the throne. The disciples chose to believe in God's promises and witnessed a fire of their own on the day the church was born. Peter rose from the ashes of regret. Paul found a grace worth dying for. And John witnessed a new heaven and earth, all because they chose to believe in God's promises. One student of Scripture spent a year and a half trying to tally the number of promises God made to humanity. He came up with a total of 7,487. God's promises are like pine trees and the Rocky Mountains of Scripture abundant, unbending, and perennial. They are all binding, for the Bible is clear that God is not only a promise maker, He is also a promise keeper. From the very beginning, the Bible assumes the existence of God. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. That anyone would look at the wonder of the universe and call it a coincidence is unfathomable to divine reasoning. For the writers of the Bible, the creation is prima facie evidence for the existence of God, an open and shut case. Paul said as much to the Roman believers when he wrote, Since the creation of the world, God's invisible qualities, His eternal power and divine nature have been clearly seen, being understood from what has been made. Everything that exists gives evidence of God's existence. The intricacy of the snowflake, the roar of the thunderstorm, the precision of the honeybee, the bubbling of a cool mountain stream. These miracles and a million more give testimony to the existence of a brilliant, wise, and tireless God. The thought made one psalmist marvel at such holy handiwork. What a wildly wonderful world, God, he wrote. You made it all with wisdom at your side made earth overflow with your wonderful creations. 
David even confided, such knowledge is too wonderful for me, too wonderful for me to attain. <music>